Okay, so was I not wearing this exact same shirt last week? You know, not that I care about that kind of stuff. Okay, I care. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the challenge is today. Don't know. Don't know. Don't. I don't, I don't know what the challenge is this week, I mean. So I'm just gonna tell you a story about today that got me pretty peeved off, okay? So, I'm in AP Chemistry, and it's pretty damn hard. Like, really, really difficult. And I'm basically failing. Just, just consider me failing. And I was like, you know what? No. I'm not doing this. I'm going to go to regular chemistry and finally get an A in this stupid class, you know? And one less AAP doesn't mean much. Especially if I'm going to fail in that AP. I'd much rather get an A in a regular class. So I make it, um, I put my name up for the to go to the counselor's office and to ask them, you know, can I switch the class, whatever. And so they call me in and my counselor's name is Miss Porter. So, I come in there and I look through her little door window and I see her talking on the phone. I'm like, okay, I'll leave her alone, you know, but I'll knock on the door just so she knows that I'm here and then maybe she, you know, can be like, hey, can I call this person back? So, I knock on the phone, she looks at me, she goes like this, and I'm thinking this meant five minutes or like five seconds, and I was like, Okay, I can understand that, you know, but then I need to get back to class because I have this, like, group thing I'm working on and I need to be there. And so, uh, I sit down there and I'm just sitting there kind of awkwardly, you know how it is, and it's been more than five minutes and I finally walk up and I looked at the window, she's still talking on the phone and she's like, had these, like, papers out, so I was like, okay, this must be, like, a really important call and she can't call this person back. So I stand there and I'm waiting for her and I wait another, like, seven minutes, like, literally seven minutes. I'm not being, like, a teenager and like, exaggerating time, but I'm looking at the clock the whole time and it's been seven minutes. And so, finally, I'm like, what the, what, what's going on? And I, and you can hear like the conversation that she's having and basically what they're talking about from the gist of it is that she was talking about some girl she saw on um park street which is like our downtown of alameda who's wearing these like white tights and like pointy shoes and how much she liked it and i was like okay this is not a business call this is not a business call so i knock on the door and i wait for like two minutes and she doesn't even turn around to look at me and i'm like Knock on again. And finally, she turns around and she goes, Oh, um, I gotta go. Stan's waiting for you. So she hangs up and she opens the door. And I'm kind of like, Finally? And she's like, Oh, hey! Hello! Get to sit on right here! Sit on right here! And I'm just like, Bitch, I am not in the mood. And so, I'm like, Hey, I want to switch class. And then now she's all bitch on me. She's like, Um, you can't. I can't just switch you out right now. You have to wait till the end of the quarter. I'm like, I know that, but I think it'd be really, you know, helpful that you know that I want to switch out of the class. I didn't mean today. She's like, oh, okay, well, anyway, I need permission from your parents saying that it's okay. I'm like, first of all, is it them that's going to the school? I think I should be able to decide, okay? I didn't know that my parents were deciding my future. I'm deciding my future. I don't know about all of you, but I don't want someone else deciding that factor. And so, she, uh, I just stopped listening to her right then. I just stopped listening. I was just like, <sighs> so she gives me, like, my hall, like, she signs my hall pass or something. She hands it to me, and she puts a heart on it, a heart on it, and I just wanted to break that heart and throw it in her face, and she, she smiled at me, and she looked at me, and she's like, have a good day, and I was like, I didn't even say anything. I did not. I literally did not say anything. And I gave her this face, and I walked out the door. I walked out that door, and I was like, I ain't never coming back here. So yeah, that was. That's pretty much how my day went. That's how my day went. And today, um, around six o'clock, I don't even have a watch. Um, I'm going to the local um, elementary school on Bay Farm Island to help to help serve ice cream and get free ice cream. I'm going to have karaoke, and I get community service for this. So it's all good, and I have tons of homework because of Miss Porter. Mm -hmm. I have no idea how long this thing is. Ooh, way too long.